And you're committed to carrying this pregnancy to term. I am. We are. We only have so much time, so much energy. If you choose to spend it elsewhere, there's less of you for here. Look, I already warned Doug, we are one and done. In our story, Cheryl is the face of Planned Parenthood. This is Abby. She's our newest volunteer escort. Abby, this is Cheryl Alessandro, clinic director. Welcome. Nice to meet you. You too. When Abby begins to realize that her own views are beginning to separate from the official Planned Parenthood line, it's Cheryl then that she'll be having her friction with. We are paying you to be a perfect instrument of corporate policy, and corporate policy is simple. We are an abortion provider. In Unplanned, you see the true agenda being revealed, and that, honestly, Planned Parenthood is a multi-billion dollar business. Congratulations. You've managed to make an enemy of one of the most powerful organizations on the planet. The statistics for abortion are mind-numbing. Worldwide, since 1980, 1.5 billion abortions. That's, what, a quarter of the planet missing? That's crazy. I think some of the most telling statistics, the most shocking statistics about abortion are just the gross numbers of abortions that take place every year. So we're at about a million abortions a year, about 3,000 a day, and this is just in the United States. And about one in three women in the U.S. have had an abortion or will have an abortion by the time they're 45. There are places in the United States where there are more African-American babies being aborted than born. To know that there is a, a silent genocide that is, is going on and occurring um, predominantly in uh, minority communities is, is a major issue. Run. Run, the baby. Please don't do this. Please. Please don't do this. Whatever you need, you can come live with us. 79% of abortion facilities are put in minority neighborhoods. That baby you're carrying is going to be just as beautiful as Lily. Rhonda, Rhonda, don't do this. Rhonda! Especially within our African-American community, millions of unborn children have never seen the light of day. How many doctors, how many lawyers, how many pastors never had the opportunity for their gifts and their destinies to come into fruition?